Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. This is Kenneth Russell Tech. Today we're gonna to talk about the ATEM Mini and how to stream to Facebook using the ATEM Mini and the ATEM software control right here. So before we do that though, do me a favor, if you like this kind of content and you need help with streaming and production stuff, do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. Let's dive right in here. So I'm in the ATEM Mini software control or the ATEM software control for the ATEM Mini. And on the right hand side, there are three tabs and the farthest one out is called um, output. And under output, there's going to be a, a, a section here and this is how the on air section works. Now, if I just come in here and I don't have anything in here and I say, hey, I want to go to Facebook. Awesome. And I hit on air. I'm going to get this like flashing on air button thing happening. And I've seen some posts of people on on different forums and groups on Facebook saying, hey, you know what? What's happening in the on air? It's not sending anywhere. It's not. I don't see it on my Facebook. Well, the reason is, is you have to tell Facebook where or you have to tell the ATEM Mini to go to Facebook and unlock the door with a stream key. Basically a stream key is all of, all of the streaming services or, or uh, social media services that you can stream to have what's called a stream key. And basically what this is, is like you tell the ATEM Mini to go to the door of Facebook and then use this key to open up your door to your Facebook page or your or whatever platform you're streaming to. And that allows the A10 Mini to go in and then publish on your page. So on this section down here, if you don't have anything put in here, it doesn't know where to go. So uh, we're gonna talk about where to go on Facebook to get that and the two different kinds of stream keys and um, and how to set up a Facebook live event as well as just go live straight off the bat. So uh, let's, without further ado, let's dive into this. I'm gonna go to my Facebook page right here. And this is like my Facebook fan page. Um, you're more than welcome to follow me at facebook.com slash Kenneth Russell. But um, and on here on the your page, you'll see a little thing down here that says create and then live. We're going to click on that button right there. That's going to take us into the, the live kind of back panel. OK, now the middle section here is really important. This is the, the things that you need to know about this. You can see at the top, it says get started and it says use stream key, use camera, and then use paired encoder. We're gonna briefly talk about um, the use camera. I'm not gonna talk about use pair encoder today, but basically what this does, use camera is if you were gonna use the A10 Mini with the USB as like a webcam, that's who you would click on is the use camera right there. So we're not going to do that, um, but that's what you would use to do that. We're going to use the stream key. If I scroll down a bit, I can see right here under live stream setup, there's server URL. This is actually built into uh, the A10 Mini Pro, so you don't have to worry about this. But there's this thing here called stream key. This is what I was talking about that is going to allow you to uh, the ATM Mini to go to Facebook and then unlock it. That's what Facebook is looking for is somebody sending this huge long uh, number that's encrypted. Um, there's no way you're going to guess this number basically. Now there's a, well, if I wanted to right now, I can copy this and then paste this into the ATM Mini, which we'll do in here in a second. But there's also on the left hand side, at least the way they have it set up right now, is it says use persistent stream key. I really like the use persistent stream key function. What this does is every time that you would go into uh, your ATEM Mini and hit on air, it's going to send the same key. So right now, this, this use key right here, this one up top, this one is going to change every time that I stream to Facebook. But if I use the persistent stream key, I'm going to click on that, it generated a new stream key. And then every time that I go to Facebook, I will use this. Now, uh, the danger in this is that uh, anybody that has access to the persistent stream key 
can stream to your Facebook page without you knowing. So like right near right now, I, I you can see my stream key here. Um, I'm actually going to reset this. So I'm resetting it and uh, I will, after this video is done, I will reset this again so that nobody could possibly use this. So, but I, but I like the use persistent stream key option on here. So I'm going to copy this right here and go back to my, uh, the ATEM software control and underneath on this tag tab down here or this box stream key or the key I'm going to paste this in here so once that is pasted on here now when I hit on air it is going to not be flashing like this but it's just going to be solid and if I go back to Facebook I can see it down here um, it might take a, it's already there you can, if you scroll down, you can see it. That that was what I was uh, uh, talking about when I started it. And you can see it, if you go up to the top, this is what is streaming right now. So it's a little bit delayed. I'm going to scroll this down so that delay doesn't distract me. But it's a little bit delayed, uh, about 10 seconds or so, depending on your internet speed and depending on how fast Facebook wants to talk. But uh, that's how you get it to go to Facebook. So right there, that's half the battle of how to stream. And then now we're going to talk about the other half of the battle. So I'm going to get rid of my face so we can see the left side of this, uh, this, this page here. So now this is how I'm going to set up the stream for, uh, for purposes uh, for, to, to stream here. Now there's, there's two tabs here that I use a lot. Um, mostly I use the second one, but the first one is called go live. Now, this is, if you just want to, you just want to get out like immediately, you're just going live. You're not really wanting to set anything up. That's the tab that you would use is this go live tab up there. The next one is schedule live event. And I like the schedule live event a little bit better, um, because you can set up a few things. Um, and, and so I'm going to show you how to do that. And then, then, and then I'll go back to the go live now. Um, so I'm going to hit schedule live event. Let me get rid of my face. And down here, I am going to um, come over and I'm going to create an event name. So I'm going to call this um, whatever, how to stream to Facebook with ATEM Mini, whatever. Uh, I guess it would be in the Mini Pro or the ISO. I'm going to copy that and just put it down here in the description as well. And on the and then I tell it what when I want to stream. Now I'll show you in a second that this is actually not super important to pick. If you're even if you're wanting to go live right now, you can still use this. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pick. Let's just say uh, uh, two fifteen. That's when I want to to make the, make this video public um, or go live with it. Then a little bit further down, this is actually new, but they have a category. And you can select your category of whatever kind of thing you're doing. I'm going to just go down all the way at the bottom and pick uh, other. Uh, but you would just select whatever category you want. And then it has this next tab here, which is next. And then I have a few things here. I can upload a cover photo. And this is what I really like. This is why I like using this. Uh, using scheduling is so that I can get a thumbnail. You can't put a thumbnail on the go live. Um, so I'm going to click uh, this thumbnail here. And that is the, the thumbnail for this video that we've got. And it loaded it up in here. On the right hand side, you can see what people are going to see when they get this notification that you're going to be going live. So I like this because it kind of gives, um, it puts this in front of your audience twice. It puts it in front of them while you're going live, but also it creates this event. So they're getting that notification and they're like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, to join that, or I'm going to going to, uh, I'm interested in that. I'm going to, to be watching that. And then Facebook will notify them again when you do go live. So I believe they do. So then I'm going to, uh, um, real quick, I'm going to go to event settings. Just make sure that, that I'm, I'm good here. There's a couple options that you can do. Um, but I'm not going to dive into that too much. Uh, then you can, you can actually schedule without creating an event. Um, but I, I'm not going to get into that too much now either, but, uh, now I'm going to hit create event. Okay. 
So I hit create, it, create event and it's gonna say, yep, successful. And then it brings us back to this page. And right now what's gonna happen is as soon as 215 rolls around, it's go Facebook is going to look for that stream key and start streaming whatever's on the stream key. So, um, you know, this was this is useful if you have like a, a specific time, like you know that it's seven o'clock on Wednesday nights, you're doing a live stream um, and you want it to go live at that moment, regardless of, of what's happening, that's, that's what you would use this for. Um, but you can also go in and you can set this up where you, you uh, where you can make it go live right off the bat. So let me find that really quick. Um, yeah, up uh, down here where it says upcoming live videos and events. If I click on this, I've actually made this a few different times today. So I, you can see all these upload uh, events here, but I can go to this and I'll find the one right here. This is the one I just made right now. And I can set up live video. Okay, so I'm gonna hit set up live video. And then now I'm gonna take my face off. I can go live with this right now. As soon as I hit go live, then we're 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 in a live video setting. So this is where this is why I say I like using the the scheduling thing, because even if you're gonna start like, hey, I'm gonna start my stream in 10 minutes or whatever the case is, or uh, I think you actually have to set it, schedule it 10 minutes uh, is the most time that they'll give you to, to set up your stream. Um, but if you're going to, if you're, if you're, unless you're within that 10 minute, 10 minute time frame, I like to use the schedule so that I can get all the, the, the graphics and everything in there. Now, one last thing with this. So I'm going to go um, back out of here and I'm going to go in. We're going to set up a, where am I at here? Uh, I'm going to go to my pages. Sorry. And okay, I'm going to go to live here. And instead of doing the, the, instead of using the, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Instead of going to the scheduled video up here, I'm going to go to the go live now. And the same thing is going to happen. But so I'm going to set up the, the title here. Let me see if it's still in my, yeah, there we go. I can put this in here. Uh, my title, and then I can, um, oh, it's waiting for my, my go live. So I'm going to go back to the, the, I'm sorry, I was wondering why I wasn't going live, but I'm going to go back to the ATEM Mini Pro and hit on air so that it sends it to there. And then you can see now this is not, gr oops, where am I here? Uh, down here at the bottom. This is not grayed out. This is, uh, I can see what's happening here. Now, here's the interesting thing about this. And this is where I, I not necessarily dislike, but where you have to be careful with going live without setting up an event is Facebook will take the first frame that it sees and make that its image. So the first frame that it sends out to the internet, internet is going to be the thumbnail for that video. So sometimes that works just great, but sometimes it doesn't. So, you know, like if I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, am I going to go live? And then I got like, I click the button and that's my, that's going to be my picture. That's going to be on Facebook. So in order to make that not the case, what I do is I go into the, um, the ATEM and in the media pool, I will drag in a, vid, uh, a, a, a picture right here. Okay. And then on, then I will go live with that picture. So what that looks like is um, I will hit the still button right here. And there's a couple different ways to do that. Let me go over here. You can actually, um, you can hit it on the board itself, or you can go on here and hit this MP1. And that's going to bring it up as well. So um, that's what I, you can, let me do that again. So you can see it, you can MP1 or you can use it on the board itself. There's a still button on the board. But what this does is as soon as I hit this, then that is going to be the thumbnail that's on there. And then now when I go to Facebook 
and hit the, um, let me go back you can see it. Now when I go to Facebook and I hit go live, that thumbnail is going to be what actually gets uh, per pushed out is the first image. And then that is like what people see as like your picture. So hopefully that makes sense because, you know, if you had an, you were in an awkward position or, you know, if it was a live setting or maybe you were in a church setting and the, the first image was, yeah, I don't know, somebody, you, you know, just didn't look as professional or whatever the case is, you can make sure that by putting a picture in there that you're able to have the the control over going live and in, in a uh, making it look the best. So right here now, I can um, since I've sent my stream key to it, I can see it's live down here in the bottom, and it's live up here at the top. Again, there's a delay, but then right now, if I hit go live, then I'm going to be uh, going live um, straight out to Facebook. So one thing too, just the last thing is Facebook for whatever reason, at least in my experience, it's great that it has this down here. Um, and then that shows you when you're live, but also up here at the top, it shows you, um, that you're live and what's, what is going to be sent out. However, one important thing is sometimes this goes away and it says, we are having trouble streaming and it, it doesn't, it doesn't show the video itself. Now don't freak out when this happens. Um, I'd say probably 50% of the time this happens, just go up here, um, to your, to your, uh, browser and you can just hit return or you can go over here to this right here, this little circle arrow thing and hit return and it's going to refresh the page. Now it's not going to mess up your stream. Even if you're streaming, it's it it's not going to mess things up because it's not looking at the the web page in order to stream. Facebook is looking at the stream key to determine what it's putting out there. So you can actually close this web page. And I've actually been there's been times where I have started an event on Facebook for a church service, gone home, and when it was over ended the event on like it, it, everything was happening here, but I didn't need to be here. I was able to during second service, go home and was able to end the event. So that's actually, you know, you just go into, go into the back page, just like we did here. And then we hit end and you can end it that way. So what I'm saying is the page itself does not determine what is streaming um, in the sense that it's looking for the stream key. So hopefully that's helpful to you on how to, to stream. Uh, I've also got a video on how to use it for Facebook. And then I'm going to be making a video soon on how to use a program in order to stream to both YouTube and Facebook at the same time using the ATM mini pro, which is great. Um, and uh, using an online uh, service, you can actually stream to multiple platforms. You know, if I wanted to stream to uh, Twitch and Facebook and YouTube and uh, Periscope, which does it to Twitter and all bunch of different ones, uh, you can use um, some online software to do that, which is pretty cool. But hopefully this was helpful to you. And do me a favor, if you liked this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Kenneth Russell or youtube.com slash Kenneth Russell tech, as well as you can find me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Kenneth Russell. If you wanted to throw me a few bucks and say, Hey, thanks for what you're doing. I appreciate it. Um, that kind of helps me make videos like this. But if you also have any questions about the ATM mini pro, I'll do my best to answer them and uh, to help everybody out. I want to be a resource to, to the, the online streaming community, specifically with a lot of the churches that are doing streaming. I've had uh, a lot of people inquire to me at how to do basically the stuff that we're talking about right now. So anyway, Kenneth Russell out. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in another video.